Hello good day viewers. Let us find a solution to this worst problem question. This is a grade 10 mathematics question and the question reads The sum of two fractions with denominators 8 and 6 is 13 divided by 24. If the numerators of the fractions are switched, the sum will be 5 divided by 8. We are asked to find these numerators. So I would like to declare the numerators with x and y. Alright, let's get started. So the first fraction will be x divided by 8 and the second fraction will be y divided by 6. And they said if you add these two together you have 13 divided by 24. And the other ones because they say if these numerators are switched, so let's switch them. We have y instead of x divided by 8 then plus x divided by 6. The result is what? 5 divided by 8. First of all, I would like to clear these fractions because I don't want them. And the LCM is 24, so I'm going to multiply all of these three terms by 24. So we have 24 divided by 8x plus 24 divided by 6y. And this is equal to 24 divide by 24 multiplied by 13 so if you simplify this 8 can go into 24 three times so we have 3x plus 6 can go into 24 four times so we have 4y this is equal to 13 because 24 divided by 24 is 1 then the other one i want to do the same thing multiply everything here by 24 so we have 24y divided by 8 plus 24x divided by 6 equal to 24 divided by 8 multiplied by 5. 8 into 24 is 3, so we have 3y here. Plus 6 into 24 is 4, so we have 4x here equal to 8 into 24 is 3 and 3 times 5 is 15. So these are the two equations. I want to solve them simultaneously. Since we have x here before y, let me rearrange this as 4x plus 3y equal to 15. All the same, right? So let us bring them together. Let us eliminate x. To eliminate x, we can multiply this equation by 3 and multiply equation 1 by 4. Because if you multiply equation 1 by 4, we have 4 times 3x is what? 12x. And 3 times 4x is 12x. Therefore, we can eliminate x. So let's do that. If you multiply the first equation by 4, 4 times 3x will give us 12x plus 4 times 4y will give us 16y equal to 4 times 13 will give us 52. We are done with the first equation. The second equation multiplied by 30. We have 3 times 4x is 12x plus we have 3 times 3y is 9y. This is equal to 3 times 15 is 45. So now we can eliminate x by subtraction. Subtract. x minus x is 0, so it is gone. 16y minus 9y is 7y. So we have 7y here. This is equal to 52 minus 45 is 7. So to find y, we can divide both sides by the coefficient of y, which is 7. So y equal to 7 by 7. y equal to what? 1. So if y is equal to 1, what will be the value of x? We can use any of these equations. I think let's use equation 1. So this is the equation 1, but we have seen that y is equal to 1. So we have 3x plus 4 multiplied by 1 equal to 13. 4 times 1 is 4, so we can take it to the right hand side. We have 3x equal to 13 minus 4. And what is 13 minus 4 equal to 9, right? So 3x 
equal to 9, divide both sides by 3, x equal to 9 by 3, and x equal to what? 3. Therefore, x equal to 3 and y equal to 1, right? 3 and 1. But can we check it in the main equation? Yeah, we can do that. Let me substitute from the left to the right hand side. To the left hand side, we have 3 by 8 plus 1 by 6. We want to see whether this is the same thing as 13 divided by 24. You know the LCM here will be 24, right? 8 can go into 24 how many times? 3 times and we have 3 to the top. So we have 3 times 3 equal to 9 plus 6 can go into 24 4 times and 4 times 1 is 4. And 9 plus 4 is equal to 13. We have 13 divided by 24. And you can see they are exactly the same. Let us check for the other one. Y is 1, so we have 1 over 8 plus 3 over 6. Let's see whether it is the same thing as 5 divided by 8. The LCM is 24. 8 into 24 is 3. 3 times 1 is 3. 6 into 24 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. If you simplify this, you have 15 divided by 24. And we can reduce it to the lowest term. 3 can go into 15 how many times? 5 times. And 3 can go into 24 8 times. So you can see that they are exactly the same. And hence our numerators which we have replaced with x and y are just 3 and 1. Thank you for watching. Do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more exciting videos. Bye-bye.